Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for oh, the 29th of July. Now, keep in mind that the timing is fluid, so if you are in a different country, whenever you watch this is when it resonates. This is for all signs. Daily energy, whatever I'm picking up on today. So, And keep in mind as well that if this feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. This reading may not be for you, okay? You know, I think that, you know, all is, all is well. You may not feel like all is well, but all is well. Whatever is happening is happening for a reason. I think you're on the right path and you should keep going. Whatever is going on, you're on the right path. Um, I say this because I saw 444 right as I started this reading. So 444 is angel guidance. It's like all is, all is well. There's universal protection right now, even though you may not see it. Okay, pay attention to the signs. Okay, there's angel guidance happening at this time. All right, these fell out. We have the king of king of coins, uh, king of pentacles, eight of wands, three of swords. So something is happening. Something is happening very quickly. Things are changing. Okay, the, the universe is changing your life. Okay, it's bringing in more stability, more security. But you may not feel, like I said, you may not feel it. You may feel like these changes that are going on, they hurt. They hurt. Because sometimes when you let go of things that you have held on to for so long, it does hurt. It hurts to separate. Okay, um, there is some feeling of of heartache here. But it's practical, okay? It's practical. It's doing the responsible thing, okay? Whatever it is that you, that is being released or is hurting you is, is going to bring more stability into your life. And I know that it's hard to, to fathom that, but that's, this is what is happening. You may feel a little unbalanced and you may be feeling a little temperamental. You may be even feeling upset about this. We have the temperance reversed. Um, it feels like it's extreme. You may feel like this is extreme. The, the energies are extreme with back-to-back -back eclipses and, and the full moon and um, the planetary aspects, the retrogrades that are going on right now, the energies are absolutely extreme. And I feel like right now there could be a lot of tears with all these extreme changes that are going on. Um, things are definitely feeling unbalanced, a little chaotic. Um, and some, some of you may be feeling like oh, you would like to escape these changes, but you can't. And, and that kind of it does it hurts it does hurt now the three of swords is heartache and loss so definitely somebody that is watching this is is feeling that and i think that things are happening a little too too quickly to be comfortable okay knight of swords a little too quickly to be comfortable i mean this is exactly what this is i just this card just reiterates those that last sentence that I said. Things are happening way too fast for some of you. Okay? I feel as though you could be receiving communication or word or um, news that has a has a strong impact on what your next step will be and i think this whatever is coming in is coming so fast that you don't even have time to or whatever is leaving whatever is coming in or whatever is leaving is happening so fast that you don't even have time to process it it hurts 
something if something hurts because of the the speed of it you know it's just it's too it's, Woo! The tower <laughs> makes sense. You can't control this. This is like I said at the beginning, the universe. This is a universe card. The tower. It's something that happens. It's a rude awakening. It's a it's a a change that happens so quick that you can't control it. So when the tower comes up in a reading, it's there's an unexpected event. And maybe you did expect it even. Maybe you saw this coming. Something is falling apart. To bring you something better. That's what happens when the tower comes out. It's like the universe says the time is now. The time is now for, the, for this change. We've held off long enough. And the time is now. We're going to bring you a blessing. But in the meantime, you're going to have to release something. So they're going to br they're going to break it apart. They're, the tower is breaking something apart. To bring stability into your life. To bring something more practical to your life. Okay? So... There is some sort of blessing in disguise that you may not even see, if that even makes sense, okay? The tower is a blessing in disguise. Something needs to break down so something better can come in. And that's why the universe is here. Like I started this out, it's, there's universal protection. You may not feel like you're being protected as this some, something falls apart, but you are. Trust, trust. Um, yeah, you may feel like, you know, with the fool card reversed, you may feel like this is this is unreal. This is um, I'm not ready. I don't have faith in this. You may feel like like you're you're getting hurt for no reason. You may feel like the universe is out to get you. But that's not it. The universe is out to protect you. Okay? They want you to have a fresh new start and some of you have lacked the faith. You have been unable to fly on your own. And their universe is here to push you off the branch, to make you fly, to help you. Yeah, somebody's been resisting change, four of pentacles, holding on to what they know, because that's what's safe. But holding on to what you know has caused a lot of heartache. It's caused some hurt. And now it's time for you to step outside of your comfort zone. You may feel like you're going through a midlife crisis right now because things are happening so fast. The universe is, is, is making, is pushing things out of your life that don't serve you. And it can be scary. But you're being called to have strength during this process. It can be scary. But it is teaching you strength. It's teaching you courage. So I feel like today is a day, or this week, or yesterday, or tomorrow, is a time of change. Change that you may not want. You may not want. Some of you do. Some of you have seen this coming, coming and you're open to it. But it's still, it's still scary. It still hurts. It's like, it's, it's unreal. Let me get this focused in.
Now, there's, there's, there's a few majors here. There's major changes on the horizon. Somebody has been afraid to take a leap of faith and let go of what they know. But what they know has been hurting them. So the universe or the tower is coming in to break apart what has been hurting you. Somebody has been naive by holding on to something that is unbalanced, unharmonious, chaotic, Somebody has been isolating themselves perhaps even trying to escape this reality of change that's happening. They could be so hurt and scared to let go that they're burying their emotions and addictions But the universe is, is asking you to have strength through this process, through this change. The tower and strength. The tower, the event, the rude awakening, the breakdown, the disruption, teaches you strength, gives you courage. You can face your fears, and that's what this is about, facing your fears. Master your emotions, finding that force within to prevail. These two were mirroring each other, that's why they go together. These two are mirroring each other, okay? This hurt, this heartache, this despair. This growth that you've been going through. Whatever it is that you've been holding on to needs to be released. True suffering brings growth. Somebody has been suffering, holding on to an obsession that doesn't even serve them. This is, this is an obsession. It's greed, it's ego, resisting change. Holding on for dear life. And it's caused a lot of tears. It's caused a lot of hurt. Whatever it is that you've been holding on to needs to be needs to go. You need to allow this growth to happen. This hurt that you've been going through has been trying to get you to find strength. To let go. I feel like things are happening too fast. You may feel like they're happening too fast. The tower does bring in something that happens too fast. 
but it, it's, it's a blessing in disguise. So I feel like today, yesterday, tomorrow, whenever this resonates, there is going to be some sort of rude awakening that changes your life for the better. This rude awakening has to do with something that you have been obsessed with that doesn't serve you. And you will be called to have strength to step outside of your comfort zone. Stop escaping the truth. Step outside of your comfort zone. Stop escaping the truth. And release it. Whatever it is to you. Have no fear, the Knight of Swords. Have no fear. Hold your head up high. This is not a time to be fearful, even though I can see that somebody, many of us, are scared. Scared to let go of what we know. But eights are the time is now. Eight in the very last card. Eight. Right now. You need to find the strength. There's a door that is closing that somebody has been reluctant to let close. But the time is now. It's time to be practical. Dream a beautiful dream. We're going to zoom that in and then I'm going to read it. The urge to create is the same within you as it is for the universal creator. It also has the same magical ability to draw harmony into being and to find beautiful order in chaos. This includes bringing harmony and the perfect balance of well-being into your body, mind, and emotions. This is also part of you that wants to dream of beauty and bring it to life in as many ways as possible. And how you eat, dress, look, behave, make love, create, art, relate to your community, write your poetry by moonlight or bathe by candlelight. And I have to stop for a second. So many of you don't even realize what releasing is. Releasing can be so many things. It can be fear. Releasing fear. It can be releasing alcoholism. It can be releasing smoking. It can be releasing a partner. It can be releasing anything. A job that doesn't... It can be anything. Anything. Something needs to go. It's caused you a lot of hurt, a lot of despair. Could be more than one thing. Whatever's happening right now, is happening very, very quickly. The time is now. If you have come to believe that your love of beauty is superficial rather than a genuine expression of your heart's appreciation of symmetry, harmony, and grace, then you may block your ability to create harmony in your life. You may believe it to be an unworthy goal, yet beauty, genuine beauty, rather than superficial glamour, flows from within. It is an expression of radiance within the heart and the love of life. If you have struggled with the obsessive attitude towards beauty that tends to prevail in human culture, then it is time to look to nature instead. 
Her beauty is boundless, quirky, and endlessly diverse. If you feel blocked, thwarted, or contaminated by others in your quest to bring your beautiful dreams to life, then you may feel that your heart is dulled, mini mist, or shut down. Small mindedness can limit beauty to a very narrow physical sense. However, you can shun the social disease of superficial, narrow definitions of beauty. Thumb your nose at the airbrushed images and dare to love what is. Honoring nature is one example. Give yourself permission to feel and be beautiful in many ways. You can feel harmony outside of what is supposed to be harmonious. If you are brave and wild enough, you can even find beauty and harmony amongst the chaos of change. Sensing that change is just the creative process kicking you into gear. Realizing there is nothing to fear brings even greater beauty, harmony, and surrender, and grace to the experience of life creating itself in more stunning forms through you. This oracle comes to you with a particular message for you. There is a situation in your life right now where you feel uncertain about your ability to fix or heal. You lack the inspiration to be able to imagine it differently than how it currently seems to be. And that is the truth right here with this Four of Pentacles. You lack the inspiration to be able to imagine it differently than how it seems to be. You may therefore feel inhibited in your ability to bring out about constructive change. However, the perfect beauty of this situation is not revealed by what you attempt to do to it or through trying to impose the right dream upon it. It is to be healed and perfected into all that it can be through the revelation of the beauty that already lies within it. This happens when we accept the existence of inner harmony in all of creation, even if it cannot be consciously observed. By expecting there to be beauty within a situation, even if it's hidden, you will be more open to seeing the healing potential even in your challenges. Don't attempt to force the situation or the issue to take the right shape Instead, ask it to show its beauty to you. This might apply to your body, to your relationship, to your finances, your work situation. It's funny that I said that a minute ago. Or anything else. From this place of inquiry, you will begin to grasp the creative genius of what is. And unveil not only its potential beauty, but how perfect it is for you at this time, just as it is. You can overcome resistance and denial by approaching it with a curious mind, an open heart, and the healing process. Um, unbelievable. See the beauty in this change. Allow it to happen. Fighting it will only cause more hurt, more pain. Somebody is holding on to something that has no more growth. It does no longer serve them. It's only hurting them. And the universe is here. Universal protection, trust me, is here to help you fly. Allow it to go. Talk to you tomorrow.